In the parking lot today, there was a circus. Copier did tricks on the high wire. A lady tried to give away a baby that looked like a cat. There was a Dwight impersonator and a Jim impersonator. A strong man crushed a turtle. I laughed and I cried. Not bad for a day in the life of a dog food company. It's a real shame about it, huh? Yeah. Must really have you thinking. About what? The older you get, the bigger the chances you're gonna die. You knew that. Ed was decapitated. What? Really? He was drunk as a skunk. He was flying down Route 6. He slides under an 18-wheeler. Pop, it snaps right off. Oh, my God. That is the way to go. Instant death. Very smart. You know, a human can go on living for several hours after being decapitated. You're thinking of a chicken. What did I say? Hey, where's Dwight? You didn't hear? Decapitated, whole big thing. We had a funeral for a bird. I'm pretty sure none of that's real. You're not real, man. Where's Creed? Creed? Here. Quality assurance. Your job. I really think you screwed the pooch on this one, Creed. Because of you, the entire company is in jeopardy. Every week, I'm supposed to take four hours and do a quality spot check at the paper mill. And of course, the one year I blow it off, this happens. Yes, hello, Creed Braddon, Quality Assurance, Dunder Mifflin, Scranton. I was supposed to meet with one of your floor managers last week for a quality inspection, and he or she wasn't there. And I'm trying to remember who it was. Mm -hmm. Who wasn't there last week? Debbie Brown, and which day was that? Wednesday the 11th, perfect. The only difference between me and a homeless man is this job. I will do whatever it takes to survive like I did when I was a homeless man. When I went over Wednesday for the spot check, I got a call from Debbie Brown saying she has an emergency dentist appointment. Emergency dentist appointment? No, I'm told she told her manager she had the flu. I'm a trusting guy, but uh, I just wish Debbie Brown had been there. We had caught this. Hey, Creed. Hey, what so are you guys up to? Uh, you're the man, buddy. I run a small fake ID company for my car with a laminated machine that I swipe from the sheriff's station. It's a beautiful morning at Dunder Mifflin. As I like to call it, Great Bratton. Keep it running. Do I love being manager? I love my kids, I love real estate, I love ceramics, I love my job, I, I love wrestling. Find out what language this is. Okay, team building. On this side of the room, Stanley, Phyllis, Jim, Ted, Elroy. And on this side of the room, Pam, Meredith, Phyllis, Creed. He never called a meeting. Bo body, Bo body. What does the first B stand for? What are we doing? We're making acronyms. Okay, what does the first B stand for? Um, business. I like it. Business, good, Kevin. All right, the O. We need a new manager. Hang up. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. Indel has told us there are at least seven. Okay, I already see one. Give me. Okay. They're the same picture. Creed, I noticed you don't have a resolution on the board. What's yours? I want to do a cartwheel, but real casual, like, not, not make a big deal out of it. But I know everybody saw it. There's one stunning, gorgeous cartwheel. How's it going? I'm having a little trouble motivating. One of the hardest parts about making resolutions is keeping them. In fact, most resolutions are abandoned by February. Or sooner. <laughs> yeah. It's not a joke. But that's OK, because it's not about being perfect. It's about trying. In fact, why don't we go around and confess some of the ways that we've already fudged on our resolutions? 
Well, I said that I would eat more vegetables, and I haven't yet. But it's okay. I still have time. Since last year, I ate none. Okay, well, my confession is that today I had a sip of coffee. But that's fine. Is it? Yes, because with all of your support, by this time next year, maybe I'll be down to one glass of iced tea a week. Next year? Come on. I mean, what is the point? What is the point of that? I made a resolution to floss, and I did it. 1201, January 1st, bam, blood everywhere. Well, not all of us are Michael freaking Scott. What is wrong with you people? Can't you stick to anything? Aaron, I want you to go to the kitchen and get me some vegetables. Creed, you say you want to do a cartwheel? Nothing's stopping you. Come on, old man, do a cartwheel. Well, I can't. I don't know how. You're just going to somersault around for the rest of your life, and you know what's going to be on your tombstone? Loser. My tombstone's already made, thank you. Just do a cartwheel. Look at where you're going to be doing the cartwheel. So look where you're going to be placing your hand. So pick a spot. Mm -hmm. You ready to do this? Yes, sir. You know what? I'm going to stay here as long as it takes. I really appreciate it. I'm going to spot you. I'll spot okay. you. You don't. Go. I did it. You did? The perfect cartwheel. <laughs> okay, good. The rush. That's all I had to do all year. Congratulations. All right. Well, all right, see you tomorrow. Oscar, why don't you take this opportunity to officially come out to everybody here, however you want to do it. Go ahead. Stand up. I'm doing this for you. Yes, I'm gay. And I didn't plan on sharing that part of my life with you today, so whatever. Can I sit down now? I'm not offended by homosexuality. In the 60s, I made love to many, many women, often outdoors, in the mud and the rain. And it's possible a man slipped in. It would be no way of knowing. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Everyone was so drunk, I bet no one even remembers what you said. I remember. I blogged the whole thing. www.creedthoughts.gov.www backslash creedthoughts. Check it out. Last year, Creed asked me how to set up a blog, wanting to protect the world from being exposed to Creed's brain. I opened up a Word document on his computer and put an address at the top. I've read some of it. Even for the internet, it's pretty shocking.